Hi fish friends, I'm back with another video. Um, it's me, Miss Lyra, the crazy fish lady. <laughs> um, so I know I know my last update video was kind of sad. I'm sorry about that. Um, but I have some happy updates this time. Um, I have some new fishies. So they are enjoying some treats right now. Um, I did a 40 gallon water change yesterday and they were so good that I'm giving them some treats. And uh, Larissa was uh, spitting as you could see. Um, anyway, so I've got some new fishies. Um, so this one right here, uh, this is a mimic tang um, or also called a chocolate tang. Um, he's not very chocolate right now, obviously. Um, let's see if I can get Larissa spitting some more. She loves doing that. <laughs> um, so uh, his name is Deimos. Um, he is, he's been pretty great. He's another scrubber tang. Um, and uh, he has been, at first he was fighting with Acteris a lot, or rather Acteris was picking on him. Um, but now they're okay. Um, it just took a little while. Um, and this right here, this is another rabbit fish. This is an orange spotted rabbit fish. Um, and her name is Thalassa. And uh, she and Larissa have been buddies, which is really cute. Um, so everybody's all happy. Look at you guys. Um, and of course, right there, that is a reef trigger fish, uh, also called a rectangle trigger fish or a humu humu. Um, her name is Heleni, uh, and little Larissa is making a mess over here. Um, her name is Heleni. Uh, now, I am going to get another shark, and I do know that there is a serious compatibility problem because most trigger fish are pretty aggressive, especially towards sharks. They like to peck at eyes and things like that. And I know this. Um, so what I'm planning to do, I mean, reef trigger fish are like my favorite trigger fish. So I, I saw her at the store and I just couldn't help myself. I was like, okay, I, I have to get this. I just love them so much. And I used to have a few back in the, or not a few at a time, but, um, I tried to keep some back in the day. I was still kind of an amateur, and um, I had a 44-gallon tank, and um, it didn't work. They unfortunately died uh, in various ways. One of them actually jumped out of the tank, um, and that wasn't good. Um, but this time, you know, I have a much more stable tank. I have a better idea of what I'm doing. I have a much more elaborate system this time. So I was like, okay, I just, I saw her and I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, um, I don't know when I'll be getting another shack exactly. It could be a while still. Um, so what I'm going to do is when I get a shack, I'm just going to get another small, like 20 or so gallon tank. I maybe not that small, but, um, I'm just going to get another smaller tank and I'm gonna have it especially for this little trigger fish because I just I love them so much I really want one so I really want to keep her and um, I know that having her with a shack is not gonna be good so uh, I'm just gonna have a separate tank just for her and um, that's what I'm gonna do and it'll be a little extra work but you know reef trigger fish <laughs> um, so yeah so that's um, that's what's going on. I, as you can see, the tank is nice and spotless. Um, Larissa finally stopped spitting at me, so that's good. Um, or did she? Nope, maybe not. Oh, no, okay. Good. Um, so, unfortunately, as you can probably also see, I did lose, um, my blue throat trigger fish, Rassel Hog. I don't know what happened. Um, he just stopped eating and, um, and then he was gone. Um, so I have no idea, but, um, but I have all these new little friends, so that's nice. And, um, I'm still keeping an eye out for 
um, another epaulette shark. Um, I have um, I have arrangements with uh, my fish store, and uh, he's in contact with some captive breeders. So um, we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully we can get another one soon. Um, the tank has been a little less lonely now that it's got some more fish in it, but it's still, you know, it's a shark tank at the end of the day. Um, so yeah, so that's what's going on. Um, these guys are just loving this. They are so happy. Uh, that makes me feel better because I felt really guilty. Um, so yesterday when I was doing the water change, um, there was an incident with Heleni. Um, apparently she had wedged herself into the Moai, which I didn't know she was doing because, I mean, she had never really done that. So, um, I took the Moai out to clean it and, um, well, I, I put it, uh, up here on top of the tank, on this towel over here, and, um, <laughs> I did not notice that she was in it and so I went back to taking some water out um, and then I look up there and I see her just laying there on the towel and I was like oh no that's awful um, so I got really scared um, I gently put her back in the water and she kind of sank down to the bottom like she was breathing and gasping really but um, she was like really shocked um, and now look at her yeah, it's, uh, be careful if you guys have, like, trigger fish or, like, other fish that like to wedge themselves into things. Um, be very careful if you're taking decorations out. Um, make sure that they're not hiding in there, even if you think that they don't like those decorations in particular. Um, yeah, so that's, that's all I got for you today. Um, <laughs> these guys are just so happy. Um... Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll be back with uh, some more videos, hopefully. Um, at the very least, I want to start doing some more battle videos uh, for Pokemon, so I hope you guys like that, and if not, I'll have more fish videos, too. Don't worry. Uh, all right. Thanks, and see you next time.